you, oh, given the setting, given the fact this is an NCAA tournament, notwithstanding the fact you won three in a row to win a rugged tournament title, was this as good a start, a first half, as you've had this season? Uh, yeah, it probably was. I think the first half was indicative of a, of a team that's really dialed in. Um, our, our focus has been exceptional. We've gone through a lot, as a lot of teams do. We've been incredibly dinged up and injured, and some of our practices at home have been <coughs> less than full speed and, and uh, physical because we had to. But, you know, when we got here after a week of study, we had one of our best practices of the season yesterday. Very competitive, very physical, because we knew we have to play a certain way to, to advance and, and with our team. So I thought the first half we guarded exceptionally hard and then we executed our offensive game plan um, exactly how we drew it up. And that's that's credit to these guys that are flanking me right now. Just half a second behind. Mm -hmm. Tanner, I'll ask you, um, the cohesion that you guys showed in the first half, mm -hmm. first time I've seen you play all year, um, mm -hmm. was that as cohesive a team performance in the first half as you've been a part of? Because um, seven say, guys scored. Yeah, I mean, it was one heck of a first half, and uh, we've always had the mentality like, hey, it doesn't matter whose night it is, it's just going to be one of our guys' night because we all play together. Um, I would say it might have been one of the first half like, of the year, but at the same time, like, that's just the way we play. Um, we always try and come out, and like, it's, it's a matter of like, we kind of split the game into like, a few sections. Like, we got to win that first part, you got to win the first half, and then when you come out, you got to win, win that first five minutes of that second half. Um, so we just like, kind of chuck. Like keeping it into smaller parts because we just got to win those little battles, and then I mean, just went throughout the game. Peyton, this team you beat came in riding. Or you guys had an eight-game winning streak. They were riding a 13er, mm -hmm. and they won their conference tournament too. Given the caliber, I'll ask you a variation of the same question. Given the caliber of the opponent, given the setting, NCAA tournament, your read on on how good your team played today. Um, you know, I think Tanner. And coach covered a lot of it. Uh, it. We're a team. Like it really doesn't matter. There are no egos in this group. And uh, when you come out and everybody's focused, we had a great practice yesterday. Um, and just yeah, worry about those little battles. You know they're a great team. They shoot the ball really, really well. Um, they share it. So just really trying to make them uncomfortable. Um, and then doing our best and really guarding, focusing on the defensive end. I think we came out in that first half and our defense kind of sparked our offense, playing mm -hmm. in transition, uh, pushing the tempo. You can do that when you get stops. You got to work really hard to get stops against a great team like that, uh, and I felt like we did that pretty well. Greg, I'm, I'm, as both as a player at, at this school and now as a coach, if, if my read's correct, this is your sixth NCAA tournament in nine plus seasons. How ingrained is NCAA tournament appearance in the in the Hope men's basketball program at this juncture? Yeah, I mean, we, we have a great tradition. I'm, I'm just working really hard to maintain it. Uh, it was built before I got here, and. Um, you know, I, I just give players the credit. You know, we, we, we all have good, um, you know, everybody has good players. And I think at this level, you got to work so hard to win. And I look at, you know, Coach Collins, and Carr's a good friend of ours. He's a Hope guy. And that was an extremely well-coached team. And, um, you know, it's, when, when, it, when the dust settles, yeah, we're trying to keep the tradition alive. We're just trying to keep our season alive. We're trying to keep these guys together for another practice, another game. Um, it's a special group. You know, we've been, in the tournament the last two years and uh, lost a close in the second round last year to Oshkosh and we got a taste of it and, and these guys want to really make a significant run and, and again that's that's all we're trying to do as coaches is put them in that position to uh, you know, to play hard and, and let what we do our identity be enough to advance us and that's all we're trying to do just just be us and uh, I thought we were us tonight for sure. Clay um, you don't see his own very often and how did you guys prepare for what they do? Because they've used it to be very effective to help them win a lot of basketball games. What, in the preparation this week, allowed you guys, because I think it was ten, five guys with at least one assist in the first half, six guys with at least six points. So that's a lot of finding the right point. What, what did you see that you guys did against their zone, and how did you prepare for it? Yeah, I, I love that you just asked that question, uh, because I can shout out <laughs> a whole bunch of guys that, that deserve a lot of credit. Uh, our orange squad. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the underclassmen, um, they're even upperclassmen with Rob Nosek, Devin Chaney, uh, Ben Wagner, Josh Decker. Like those guys helped us get ready. Like they ran their zone 
and it's something that we're not, we don't run um, and we don't see a lot of, so it was kind of uncomfortable. And our coaches asked a lot of them and, you know, they got on them. It was hard and it was, it was a little awkward at first, but, you know, for the last, since we drew, um, it was it Monday? Monday's yeah. the selection show and then Monday to now, they've done a phenomenal job of giving us an amazing look. Um, it, was, it was really, really hard to go against them in practice and they made it challenging and frustrating. And we had to talk as coaches and players and players had to talk. Um, but all the credit goes to them. Without without their their work, their dedication to running something and really really investing in it, we're not being we're not sitting here uh, after a great team win. Tanner, what did that preparation? What did you think you guys did against that zone that allowed you to get good looks and score and take control early? Oh, I mean, I think it starts with like our coaches and the amount of time that they put in to help our own squad to like figure it out and. Um, I think like once we kind of figured out like how we knew to attack it, watching film, um, we knew we just had to get the ball in the middle, and then like from there you kind of find out where you want to go with it. So um, I mean, like we've kind of done all year, like we're sharing the ball as much as possible, and once we find that middle, um, just try and get like cutters. Um, but like again, like the amount of time and effort the coaches put into it, um, the preparation, like obviously, like Clay said, like we wouldn't have been here without the amount of preparation and the guys, the buy-in from like everyone in the program. So. I mean, it's just like, it's awesome because as much as we get, maybe you could say more recognition, like we don't, we don't deserve it, honestly. And then Greg, obviously now the challenge is turn around and play another high intensity mm -hmm. game in the second round, which you're, you're familiar with. What, what's key now as you look ahead to whoever you face tomorrow? Yep. Yeah, I mean, short turnarounds, you have to really dive into to who you are and who you need to be. We'll, we'll come up with some things that will hopefully give us an advantage, um, but it's it's going to be, you know, we're, we're playing with grit, man. We're, we're, these guys uh, will be who we are. It's 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 a long season. you got to just kind of hunker down and believe in who you are. And um, it'll come down to the possession battle. We talk about this every game. we got to win the possession battle, which means we gotta, we got to out-rebound them. we got to turn over less. Uh, and then we got to hit free throws, you know, and, and then you just got to want it more. So I'm, uh, I'm excited that these guys get a chance to, to enjoy this, but – we are so unsatisfied right now. We are very driven to continue to play. And um, uh, yeah, excited for tomorrow for sure. Tanner, Clayton, Coach Mitchell, thank you guys. Okay, thank you.